Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Fat Stacks. It is a game for two to six players, takes about 45 minutes to play the game, and it's for ages, I'd say, probably 11 and up. In the game Fat Stacks, you're going to be playing um, as a pancake connoisseur. Yeah, you're going to be working for uh, Mrs. Mabel Buttersberg here, and in order to work for her, you're going to need to participate in a battle royale involving pancakes. You want to make the fattest and largest stacks of pancakes with the best ingredients possible possibly can. In the game you're going to be getting pancake cards. You'll start off with a buttermilk milk pancake and four cards in your hand. And on your turn you get one of three actions. You can play three, you can draw three, or you can play two and draw two. And uh, you can choose to play them in your opponent's stacks, depending on which uh, type of cards you have. You can play them on your own stacks. And of course you can play finishers. Finishers like butter here. That will lock your stacks so that people can't mess with them. If you do it after eight you can double the points. And also whenever you play certain things like chocolate chips on top of marshmallows, on top of chocolate pancakes, you can score double or even double double points. Anyway, let's go into the contents of the game. So here we have Fat Stacks, a competitive pancake stacking strategy card game in all of its glory. I've set it up for two players, so I'll show set up in a little bit, but let's go ahead and talk about what you're gonna get. You get the box, you've got the rule book, how to play, along with a big stack of pancake cards here. Not only that, but you get another separate stack of finisher cards, like syrup, ice cream, rainbow sprinkles, whipped cream, and butter, and then you're also gonna get these trophy cards. At the end of the game, if you successfully accomplish what they say to do, you will gain bonus money. And I most important thing about this game is M Mabel is going to want you to make as much money as humanly possible during this pancake competition. So that is pretty much what you're getting. A ton of pancake stuff, finishers, and of course the trophies. All right, let me tell you how to play. So Fat Stacks is pretty simple. You're going to start the game off with four pancake cards. They could be pancakes themselves or they could be toppings. Every player is also going to start off with one buttermilk pancake in front of them. On your turn, you'll get one of three options. Play three, draw three, or draw two and play two. Either one of those options you choose after you do them, pass it to the next player, and it continues to go clockwise. When you play a card, you can choose to either play it on your own stacks, make your own stack with a pancake, or you can play it on your opponent's stacks. You're not able to play a stack for, you can't make a, a stack for your opponent. You have to actually play on what they already have. Not only that though, but when you play cards, there's going to be finishers provided you successfully achieve the uh, statement it says on here. Like having a butter finisher, it says have at least three buttermilk pancakes in a single stack. So if you stack three buttermilk pancakes, you would take this and you could put it on your stacks as you want for a free action. It basically locks it down and you're not going to be able to uh, mess with that person's uh, stack. Now, if you can get more than eight cards though on a stack, you're going to be able to actually lock it down and it'll give you double points at the end of the game. So it's important to note that. Playing, uh, your your cards like strawberries, red velvet, blueberry, or sorry, strawberries or blueberries is good. And some of them are going to have bonuses. They're going to have little stars on them that will let you get let you get bonus points when you stack them together correctly. You'll gain double points. And if you can stack them correctly in in with the two stars, you can get double double points. So if it's two, you can go to four and then go to eight points. So that's pretty good as well. And of course, after the deck runs out, the game is going to end after everybody gets a turn. And you're going to give out these little fat stack mudslinger and. Uh, uh, cleanest plate cards to the pe people who did what they're supposed to do uh, the tallest pancake the player with the fewest negative money cards in their stacks and then the player that dealt the most negative dollars in one single turn this one actually move around throughout the game some of them will do that and uh, then you're going to tally up your points and whoever has the most is the winner let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in a round of play so let's go ahead and begin the game and we'll start off by whoever was the first person to make pancakes we'll just go ahead and say that this player was they're gonna look at the hand of cards they have they have three four types of pancakes already and of course with these guys they can go ahead and stack them on top of an already built stack which you're going to start with one just like that or you can make a new stack only you are able to make a new stack for yourself another thing to note is you're going to first before doing any of that choose one of the three actions you want to draw three play three or do you want to draw two play two i'm going to go ahead and do the draw two and play two there's a bananas and a banana pancake that's a pretty solid option there so one and two after that and that means i played my banana a pancake and put bananas on top of it that's going to give this double points so that's four points five and six points total for that stack these guys here are going to be uh, in your hand and that's the next player's turn once again the same thing i'll go ahead and draw two and i will go ahead and play two here's a chocolate pancake oh but i have a burnt pancake oops go ahead and put that on his stack now he's got minus one dollar and then maybe i want to play a red velvet pancake that's going to give plus three so that's pretty useful as well um this says here the player that deals the most negative damage in a turn it's gonna get plus 30 so right now he has that plus 30 but it can change because minus one is definitely not the uh, lowest negative that you're gonna see in this game 
Um, the player with the fewest negative cards in their stacks, he'd also have that one for now as well. Um, and of course the tallest finished stack would be this guy over here, but these are gonna rotate throughout the game. And I guess you could even wait at the end of the game other than remembering who had the highest negative. So now it's this player's turn and he will simply decide to play three. So the first one he's gonna do is maybe make a new pancake, that blueberry one right there. And then he's gonna play two buttermilk pancakes. Nice. Uh, after he does that, that's the end of his turn. This guy's gonna get to go. He'll just go ahead and draw three cards, giving him marshmallows, another chocolate pancake, and chocolate chips. I can go ahead and save these. And it's this player's turn again. He's gonna go ahead and draw two and play two. He'll draw these two, play another buttermilk pancake, and uh, another banana pancake. With that, he actually gets a finisher. Butter, you have to have at least three buttermilk pancakes in a single stack. He does, one, two, three. And um, you may move one card from your stacks onto another player. So when you play this card as a finisher onto one of your stacks, you can go ahead and do the ability of that card. And of course, now it is the next player's turn with a draw two and a play two. Maybe he'll give a hot pancake, giving him minus two there. And then he's gonna go ahead and give himself something good. Maybe he'll go ahead and give himself chocolate pancakes. That's pretty tasty. And that's the basic idea. The game's gonna continue like that. Finishers are gonna be played. They can be played when you want. And you can lock your stacks. When you have eight or more, he doubles points at the end of the game, and you're gonna be able to do the abilities of these guys. So let's go talk, let's show you the finishers here. Whipped Cream have at least a stack of at least seven cards with no negative cards in it, so you can go ahead and take that once you get at least uh, seven cards with no negatives, and then you can use that. This gives you a plus five, that's really good here. Uh, this one's Rainbow, have at least six different pancake cards on one single stack, so six different pancake cards is gonna actually get you this guy here with a plus three, and it'll let you draw a card instantly. This one here is deal one other player five negative dollars in a single turn ice cream is always good and then of course syrup deal a total of at least four negative dollars across two different opposing players in a single turn wow that's mean but you can play an additional card on this turn if you do so and you can get that finisher pretty nice right and if you look at it of course there's gonna be negative cards there's gonna be ones that give you bonuses for instance when you play of course uh, bananas on top of a banana pancake like right here that's gonna double that and uh, if you look at this guy's hand here we've got marshmallows there so we can go ahead and play this just like that if he wanted to on his turn that would make the both uh both of these guys are going to double because they both have um the same oh no sorry neither of them would this uh, this one would double actually because there's chocolate pancakes right there let's see does he have a chocolate chip he does bam you can put that there too and now there's chocolate chips above and there's been a pancake below which is actually gonna double this one twice it's very very useful you want to lock that in as humanly possible and there's a ton of different pancake cards but that's the basic idea at the end of the game after all this has been dealt out you're going to add up all the points from all the pancakes pancakes you've gotten, all the bonus points, and whoever has the most, including these little trophy cards here, is going to be the winner of the game, Fat Stacks. All right, let's talk about it. So before I go ahead and tell you my review of it, just remember one thing. You cannot score pancakes that are not finished, so you have to put a finisher on a pancake in order to score it, just as a caveat. You're going to actually know that from the rules, but if you want to see a full playthrough of the game, we actually have a live play, live stream uh, from our channel, Unfiltered Gamer, on Facebook, which you can go ahead and check out the entire game we play throughout. I think we got everything right, except the fact that you didn't actually actually have to, uh, you don't have to finish a stack with at least eight. You have, you can, you can do, uh, you, if you choose to do that, you double the points, which is important to note, but otherwise it pretty much plays correctly. Um, also let's go ahead and talk about it now. So firstly, this game is really cool. I like this style of the pancake artwork. I like the variety of the different types of pancakes. If you're a foodie, you're going to enjoy this aspect of the game. You're also going to like that the theme matches closely with how you're playing it. You're just, I feel like I'm you know, just throwing pancakes on things and ooh, hot peppers. I don't want that. Here you go, Grant. Or, Oh, well, look at this. Oh, good. Oh, shoot. I, I burnt one of my pancakes. Here you go, Callie. And so I'm giving these nasty ones away. I'm scoring finishers by the actions I choose to play or by the stacks of pancakes I have going up throughout the game. And of course, the most basic one, which is butter here, which is important though, because it's an easy one to get and you can choose to lock your pancakes in pretty quickly and score points at the end of the game because that's the most important thing. You don't ever uh, rule out these little trophy cards because they're very useful. They give you a ton, of dollar, 20, ton, of, ton of money, 30, 20, and 30 more. That is a a lot of dough at the end of the game and it can result in you winning just by simply having these three uh, in front of you. Uh, the game is a take that style game and it's very very simple. If you're a strategy gamer you're probably not going to be interested in this one that much because it's just pretty much playing cards. There's usually a best strategy to the game because you're like this person's definitely in first place. I can give him way more negatives than I can currently score this turn, or oh, this turn I have a bunch of good stuff and they all match. I know I want to play this here and hopefully I can lock my pancake in with this maneuver. I mean, of course, you don't necessarily know what is in your player's hands, so that has that take that aspect in the game, but realistically, you know 
where you want to be placing stuff and whether or not you should be making a new stack or not and do you want to close this one off or is it just pretty much done for they destroyed all your points there that you could have gotten uh but it has a flair to it and it's fun and it's cute and i like the fact that i get to go around the table talking about all these yummy foods and uh the sense of enjoyment when i get to pull one of those cards that's going to give me that exact thing i need oh now i've got the chocolate for my pancakes which is going to double and then double double that score that's always fun um you're going to have a little bit of that angry gamer, I guess, if like, oh, you know, you're doing really well and suddenly everybody starts teaming up with you throwing burnt cake, pancakes all over your stacks and you're just like, ah, but that's part of the game. That's part of the fun. It's a family game. It's family friendly and it works very well. Very easy to teach. Very easy to learn. Definitely a nice gateway game into the take that genre. Definitely check out the game Fat Stacks on Kickstarter if it seems like something you'd be interested in uh, eating tonight. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. If you like this video, then check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It does help. We do greatly, greatly appreciate it. As well as checking out Fat Stacks, which will be on Kickstarter in the description below very, very shortly, if not already up there. If you're a big foodie and you like take that games, and you want to get your kids maybe into a game that's not too difficult with not too much math, you're going to like this game. Also, you can go check our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We have tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We're currently giving away three or maybe four games right now, so you can do that. I'll be gone at Gen Con. This is probably my last uh, pre-rendered video here. So hopefully, if you're there, you want to come and say hi or whatever, play a game, maybe do some lunch or whatever, I'm happy to do so. Designer friends, friends of the hobby and all that. Um, so please, thank you very much. We do greatly appreciate it. And thanks for watching. As always, I love you, and I look forward to making some unburnt pancakes with you next time.